So now that that's over, uh, Isol's diaper just got changed and he let me put him in the swing for a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do the cloth diaper video. Um, why I cloth diaper? Uh, pretty simple. It's the environmental uh, impact on that. Uh, one day my goal is to be either very, very low waste or no waste at all. So this is one of my one of my biggest steps, I guess, to to start initiating that. Um, the real problem is, is I'm addicted to Amazon. That's horrible. Um, I'm not exactly sure the impact that disposable diapers have on landfills and all of that, but I can tell you, like, um, let's say you do eight to twelve diaper changes a day, um, that brings you to about 4,500 diapers a year. Um, so that's, let's say you potty train after two years, that's about 9,000 diapers that um, I'm saving from landfills just by going to cloth diaper. Even if you cloth diaper part-time, that's gonna save a bunch too. Um, which leads me to my next reason that I do cloth diapering is the cost. Um, it's a you know bigger investment up front, but so 9,000 diapers, uh, each box of diapers is, let's say, t like for Pampers, it's like $40 for 140 of them. Um, so you end up with, um, I think it was like 65 packs of diapers or boxes of diapers um, if you buy like the, the bulk size. Um, and then for Huggies, it was a little bit less because they come in like... Uh, I think it was like 76 per big pack and that was also $40 or something but you have to get more so um, for Pampers it would be around $2,600 for over the two years and for Huggies about $30,000 over the two years something close to that so I mean, you don't notice that you're spending so much money on diapers because it's only $40 at a time or $25 at a time, whatever it is. So your initial investment, my initial investment into cloth diapering was, well, mostly zero because I got them gifted to me, but um, which is really awesome. And thank you, everybody, for that. Um, but the initial investment was somewhere around between two and 300 So that's a lot of money that I'm saving. <laughs> and I like money. Um, so that is why I do cloth diapering. My biggest fears going into cloth diapering really were what other people had to say about it. Um, I know that's silly, but, um, you know, I had people say that they weren't going to watch my son if they had the cloth diaper. Um, I've had people like tell me that it's like really gross and all of that. It's not even gross. The way that diapering, cloth diapering works now is so much better than how it was before. So it's, there's no real big difference between disposable diapering and cloth diapering. Um, other than instead of throwing it away, you wash it and there's a little bit more prep work involved. So um, instead of taking the trash out, you put, you throw it in the washer. Really, I was lucky that my cousin does cloth diapering. So when I was pregnant, I was able to go into her house and see how she does everything um i'm still in the newborn phase so things kind of change a little bit as babies start to eat solids um their poop changes so we'll hopefully have a diaper sprayer attached to the toilet um by then and uh i think there was something else but that's about it you know, oh, um, we're gonna probably use disposable liners. Now, disposable liners, they're biodegradable, made out of bamboo. Not that that's the point, but um, it could just make things a little bit easier for us, and it's still so much less waste. So we'll see if we like them better or not. We may not need, end up using them. I was able to do that, which really, and I still go to her for so many things about breastfeeding and diapering, um, just because she is into that stuff. Like I, <laughs> she has baby, I have baby. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what our daily kind of routine is. Um, and give you kind of a lowdown on what the different diapers are and on all different parts to them.
Okay, first this is the laundry sack that I keep our diapers in. That's that, and then this is our laundry hamper. It's actually just a trash can. Um, at the bottom of it, I put, excuse me, this linen magic. Um, it just helps absorb the smell. Actually, I don't really notice it, but <laughs> better use it and then so I just put the liner it's a wet dry bag and I just put the liner in the trash bag and then I'll put the chop on and once that's on like that this is the uh, used diaper it's I use a pocket diaper so there's like a little pocket right here and that's where the insert is and you don't really have to touch anything you just throw it in there and that's that so I'm going to do a quick overview on what we got here. I kind of separated it so that we could see everything. He's actually grown out of these, but I wanted to show them because they were very useful. These are newborn. I think the brand is called Thank You Mom. Newborn diapers and they're really um, absorbent. Um, this is a newborn insert. It's a little bit skinnier than the other ones. Um, this was super useful, especially when he had his umbilical cord because you can just snap that and yeah it's so tiny and this is an alva baby newborn this one's already stuffed and ready so you can see the difference there <laughs> so these ones we're actually going to sell um if anybody is interested in newborn cloth diapering we're going to sell them for pretty cheap so just inquire and i got a bunch over here i think i have like 12 or 16 something like that the Alva Baby Newborn, he's still in these ones probably for another week or so, and then we're really mostly using just the one size as of now. Um, and we stuff these with the one size insert also. So that's that. I don't think my son's going to let me finish this part, but I'll try. Um, these are the one size diapers here. Uh, you have to fold the snaps. This is this newborn hack that I have with the snaps. Um, and I'll show you guys how to do that. And then this is a overnight bamboo insert. So you can go kind of up to six hours without changing them at nighttime, which is really nice if we can sleep through the night. Um, these are just the regular inserts. I have so many because I just got a new pack of um, one size diapers and you do have to wash them. I recommend washing them like eight times on an express wash um, just to get the absorbency um, as much as you can and then these are what I use for baby wipes uh, we tried disposables and it's just like a little too much um, it kind of the disposable wipes end up in the laundry hamper so it's just easier to use these ones and I'll show you guys how I fold those too I'm gonna grab my son before I start okay I guess this is how we're getting things done I'm in my baby carrier this is a baby Catan um, I don't have the sash on, so this isn't exactly how you're supposed to wear it, but uh, whatever, I'm just leaning over the bed, we'll be fine. Um, let the baby drool in, Esel holding his head up like a grown man. All right, okay, this is like my setup, my diaper changing setup. Um, Uh-oh. So at the bottom I have like all of the, my breast pump bags, a changing pad because I change them just on the bed, um, and then the second tier I'll have the diapers and the inserts, just a couple extra inserts, and the top I just have a bunch of stuff. This is where I keep the cloth wipes, and then we still have some disposable wipes. We don't really use them that often, but we keep them around, and then some extra stuff in the middle there. I really wish on iPhones that you could switch the direction of the video. Um, I don't think you can. I don't know how to do it. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys these, this really quick. This is the newborn hack. So these are too big. Um, really, what I want is a tight fit around here so that there's no liquids leaking out of the leg. And then this part has such adjustable snaps that it'll fit. Um, so right here you have three rows of risers. That's what this is here. Three rows of risers. And they start off with a male end and then lead with two female ends, but I'm going to go in the opposite direction. So I'm going to take the male ends on either side and put them up here to the third uh, snap on the top. 
And then the middle riser, I'm just going to take the bottom one here and pull it up to the top here. So that is how I get his diapers to fit. He's about 12 pounds right now, um, and this seems to be working okay with for us. And now I'm just going to finish stuffing my diapers and doing my wipes. <laughs> So we do this about once a day. Um, we're working with right now, I think about 16 diapers. I recommend 24 to 36 so that you don't have to do laundry every day. Um, it's The laundry is not even that big of a deal with diapers because you need diapers. So you just do it. Uh, my own laundry, on the other hand, I don't do that. That's two hampers of laundry. Um, but baby laundry, it always gets done just because you need it. Um, if you guys have any other questions, um, I didn't do my wipes, but that's all right. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. And let me know if you guys liked the video, if it was too long. Um, one day I'll stop saying um and have a good night.